Hi, my name is Miranda Chuck and I'm a CPA. Consolidated income statements refers to one of the gap required financial statements that includes the balance sheet, the income statement, the cash flow statement, and the statement of shareholders' equity. It also refers to the set of footnotes that accompany the financial statements. They're also understood to be part of the consolidated financial statements. Now, specifically with the income statement, um, in terms of preparing them on a consolidated basis, one of the important things to remember is to eliminate uh, intercompany profit, both realized and unrealized. Otherwise, you'll get inflated or overstated income statements because they will reflect transactions to third parties as well as to transactions within the company. The main elimination entries that you want to think of on the income statement um, include uh, the elimination of gross profit. Now, now let's go through an example of some elimination entries. Let's say a subsidiary is selling to its parent. So what would happen in preparing the consolidated income statements is that you would eliminate the intercompany sales and cost of goods sold from the subsidiary's books. You would then also um, eliminate the gross profit, the intercompany gross profit on the parents' books. And then finally, also on the parents' books, you would eliminate, or the elimination would bring down ending inventory down to actual cost. So again, the purpose of all of these is to present consolidated financial statements and consolidated income statements that are usable to investors and to creditors.